<laughs> it's been nearly two years of being pestered by these clowns. Well, to be honest, it's not really pestering anymore. It's just, uh, they're just sending me these emails uh, to recover a bet that they bought from Free Network, uh, which is unenforceable at this point, because I know that statute barred. But uh, I just thought, you know, still play the game, the old-fashioned uh, game, silence, just sweet silence, and just uh, see how these uh, automated emails look. The more time goes by, because I kind of, I kind of just sort of have fun looking at them. I don't get afraid or panicky. It's I actually get amused. So um, this is the latest one that they've sent me here, and uh, it just looks the same. Give us a call. <laughs> Highlight it. Uh, I scored out. Well, their reference number is not mine. Uh, I scored out my surname. So uh, yeah, it's been written sent to me by Lowell customer team whoever that is so that was uh, today that was September and then between August and July they've sent me this which doesn't look like an email it looks like a memo but once again no their reference number not mine I have fuck all to do with them scored up my name and uh, says we've been trying to contact you by post without success which is why we're trying this email well i'm thinking actually if they are posting they've got the wrong address but that's an issue for them not for me to sort out uh, because i didn't need these goofs in the first place but uh there it goes we're we're lowell the ethical, <laughs> ethical debt company that sees the person behind the debt and understands the challenges that people in debt are facing. Um, you don't, yeah, the person behind the debt, uh, you don't give a fuck about that for a start. And understands the challenges, understands the challenges that people are in debt are facing. Um, yeah. You understand that you're ripping people off. Uh, okay, so this is like the same looking email from the months of July and August, and then uh, I didn't have a chance to get it all in the same screenshot, but down below where the hours, let's take the first step setting your online account. We noticed that you haven't set up an online account with us, it's easy to do. And only takes a few minutes online. Uh, set up your online account. Nah. <laughs> oh, these people are absolutely funny. Um, but they seem to sort of. Uh, they've, they've, they've actually added my first name in there too. So they, they sort of uh, change about the way they produce these emails. Uh, give us a call. Please get in touch. So that was okay. Get please give us a call, June. Please get in touch, May. Oh, it looks kind of blurry. Uh, okay, that says we're trying to contact you. That was April. Oh, I don't know why it's blurry. There it is. Give us a call. <laughs> oh. March. And it seems to be at the end of each month. Sort of around the last week. They just send these. Uh, fire these emails. Um, and then they, they missed. They skipped February. For some reason that's weird. And. They've given me one here at the start of the year. 
they're trying to contact you and they're not saying I'm a customer <laughs> it's just straight to straight to the point oh it's funny yeah so uh, just uh, I think the first thing that the reaction is uh, when people get these types of emails or even letters from these same goons and different parasitical debt agencies like them is uh, fear and panic and just like the TV licensing letters where you're just uh, treated like a criminal right away uh, without any trial of innocence but <clears throat> I will have to say though if they are posting they are getting the wrong address and if that's the case the the occupier in that dwelling uh, has has no obligation to respond to the letters but can even just say hey uh, this person doesn't live here quit firing out letters and save the trees but if I if they somehow happen to I, I doubt it at this point but I think that they have the wrong address but if these goofs did actually send a letter here then I will respond accordingly say you know explaining that uh, this dispute of this little payments between me and free is between us uh, I have no contract with you whatsoever and uh, show your proof of claim all the rest of it stand your ground but uh, these parasitical companies uh, will just say, use terminology like we're here to help don't worry uh, we're here to make things easier we understand your challenges blah 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 well I understand that user are actually conning people because uh, signature on contract is essential if two parties are going to do business with one another so yeah there you go but uh, this is my latest here the ninth I think last year they've skipped October so I'll probably get the next one in November uh, because it's the month of Christmas December uh, everyone's I'll give everyone peace uh, they'll probably not try to uh, scare me on December and fire me another one in January but it's a long statue barred this so uh, this <laughs> uh, this this claim that they're trying to do has no teeth it's statue barred and nothing can be done there you go